Say hi. Hi. So I told you I wasn't going to do this. But I printed out these better 3D brackets for the bottom of the printer. Because I'm getting hairline fractures in these because I over tightened them from the original start of building this thing. Didn't realize what I could and couldn't do and you can see there's a well, it's, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's a hairline crack in there. Anyway, so, more time lapse. Let's see how long it takes to replace the bottom brackets. Now, I designed this so that I could get to the screws from the top. And then the screws in the back are actually from the bottom. So, I should be able to just unscrew the bottom. And pop the whole bottom off, get to the screws, slide these off. Um, I did make the mounts a little different. These have just holes, or these have slots. And they're, all the other dimensions are exactly the same. But the whole bracket is like this much shorter. And originally I couldn't get these screws into my uh, motors and I couldn't figure out why. I think uh, the calibration on the printer that these were made on for height is just a fraction off because I printed these laying the holes in the exact same spot and they were perfect so yeah that could have been part of the problem why I couldn't quite get these on there right so uh, let's see how long this takes let me get set up here flip this bad boy upside down thicker all the way around including this way see how well my whole patterns match up yeah look good This one's just thicker all the way around, though. Alrighty. I have to do some zip tying while I'm in here. This looks like a giant mess. I don't know if I can get that fan out. Probably not. That one's in there to stay. Let's do some zip tying. Alright, 
zip tied. Probably got myself in a pickle. Now if I ever wanted to pull something out of here, I'm not going to be able to get it out. That's okay. I left that one a little loose. I'm going to be able to get the Z or the exterior motor out of there a little bit easier. Let's put the bottom on. Adjust a few things, make sure all the tension's good. I only tightened one. I might have to loosen it back up. So we'll put the bottom back on and might have to make a slight adjustment on that one. Other than that, went pretty well. I think I made a fix to one of the issues I had actually, so we'll see uh see if it's still flat with the print bed. Probably won't be since I moved this, so I'll have to adjust it a tiny bit. That's what it looks like under there. Pretty simple. Nothing really. I took these fans off. I don't need them. Those motors don't get that hot. That's a semi-new addition. I just strapped a fan right on there to cool that baby. That works pretty well. Well, it's part of the reason why I replaced it. It's starting to crack. Now this plastic's actually a lot better than that white. Ah, so uh, we'll see how the beefier parts last. I'm hoping they last longer. I'm gonna try a print and see how bad my calibration's off on my bed. Have to do a slight configuration. Manual adjustment, that's it. I wasn't going to put feet on there, but really I just need a piece of felt or something to put on the bottom. A piece of leather. Because it, it's actually pretty flat. I'll let you know how it prints. Alright, believe it or not, I just got done calibrating, did some measuring. Printed out this. I print out circles on each corner as a calibration that I just created and uh, had to make some minor adjustments. I actually had to move the bed like that much. Probably over a half a mil. Or I mean like a, a mil and a half to two millimeters. Quite a lot. But it is printing. And so successfully replaced those bottom brackets. And I'm pleased with the way it turned out. I think I actually fish, fixed another issue I had. One of these gears wasn't perfectly round or it was molded wrong or something but uh, it seems to do pretty well so I'm happy now it's ready for uh, some more printing and we'll see how it runs hey thanks for hanging out with me Welcome, honey. say bye bye you like the kids I gotta tell them to say bye <laughs> bye <laughs> all right I'll talk to you guys later Hope you enjoyed this one. Sorry, no kids. Just mama. Just me. But that's okay. <laughs> it's time to go to bed now. Yes, I'm tired. See you guys later.